Hello everyone, my name is Blaine Pearson and I am an instructor in Texas Tech's Personal Financial Planning Program. In this video, we're going to look at how to calculate the weighted average and how it applies to investment concepts. To begin, the weighted average is nothing different than the arithmetic average, except here we're going to apply weights. So the easiest way to think of this is to look at an example. In this example, we're calculating the weighted average of the share of a price of stock. In this example, we have stock X, and on date one, 10 shares are $10 per share. Stock X on date two, 20 shares is at $20 per share. What is stock X weighted average share price? To solve this, what we'll need to do is take this $10, which is the share purchase price on date one, and times it by 10 divided by 10 plus 20. The 10 plus 20 comes from the fact that we have 30 total shares. So we purchase 10 of those shares of those total 30 shares here at $10 a share. So one third times 10. And then the other two thirds or the 20 shares when we sum the 10 plus the 20 to two thirds times the $20 per share share price. We compute this out to get an average weight. When we compute the average weighted price, it's important to note that the price should fall somewhere between $10 and $20. Now let's apply the same concept only to portfolio returns. In taking a look at cap weighted returns, and in this example, a portfolio has both stock A and stock B. Stock A has a market value of $100 with an annual return of 5%. Stock B has a market value of $200 with an annual return of 8 What is the cap weighted return of this portfolio? To solve this, we use the same intuition we learned in the prior slide. We take the total value of $100 as our numerator and then and the denominator is the summation of the entire portfolio value, so 100 plus 200. So again, one-third times the 5% return. The other two-thirds of the portfolio is comprised of 8% return. So we take 200 over 300, which gives us a two-thirds, and times that by 8. We'll look at one last example, only we'll use beta. I have another video on the terminology surrounding beta. If you do not understand what beta is, it will not prevent you from solving this problem. So a portfolio has stock A and stock B. Stock A has a market value of $100 with a beta of 0.8. Stock B has a market value of $200 with a market beta of 1.2. What is this portfolio's cap weighted beta? Again, we'll use the same intuition and take 100 over the summation of the entire portfolio to give us one third, because one third of the portfolio is in stock A that has a beta of 0.8. So one third times 0.8, plus the remaining two thirds times the market beta of 1.2 as represented in stock B. This will give us our solution. Now it's important to note that your beta should fall between the largest and smallest value in computing average weight. Again, this is Blaine Pearson, and in this video, we covered the weighted average and how to calculate weighted average. Thank you for watching.